Aloha Crochet Club. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get the yarn on your fingers and on the hook and do the chain that we talked about in class. So we're going to put the yarn between our pinky and our ring finger. Remember, up over our pointy finger and we hold it between our thumb and our middle finger. To make our loop to hold our hook, we twist and hold our loop, put our hook through. Okay, now we're going to reach for the yarn. Remember, we're going underneath the yarn. Curve your hook so it can grab that yarn and pull it through your loop and hold on to the bottom string. And there, now you have a slip knot, okay? So at this point, we're going to chain. So how we're gonna chain is we have one loop on our hook. We reach for more yarn, curve, pull through our loop. Do it again. Two, three, four, five, and we keep doing this until we have about 25 loops. Okay. That's 15. Okay, so some reminders. This space in here, how tight or how loose you have it is part of your tension. How tight you pull this right here next to your hook is part of your tension. So if you're pulling too tight, it's gonna make it really hard to get your hook through your holes, okay? You want your chain to look pretty even so that so that it looks nice and even. So some reminders about what a chain really looks like. On top, it looks like a V, okay? When we turn it to the side, this one loop here, that's your top loop. We have a bottom loop, and technically there's even a back loop, which you rarely use. So you mainly use the top loop whenever you're using things. But that is how to make a chain. So make sure you practice that multiple times. Uh, do about 25 and uh, make sure that your tension is even all the way across. Good luck.